Hey everyone, welcome back. Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. We are going to do a couple videos for you. This one is going to be, it's going to be broken up into two parts. Okay, so this video is going to be uh, eigenvalues and diagonalizable matrices. And then the second video will be on eigenvectors, okay, because eigenvectors is a little bit longer. And we're just going to focus on two by two matrices for this one. Okay, so let's read the question. For the matrix uh, that we have there, determine if the matrix is diagonalizable over uh, R and find the eigenvalues, okay? So uh, the first step, and this actually isn't really that hard. Um, you might just have to practice brush up on your factoring skills when you're finding the eigenvalues, but, and three by three matrices are a little bit harder. But for this, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Like I said before, these are all ex past exam questions. So, you know, these are things that you can definitely expect. Um, on your on your exams that are coming up, so let's uh, let's take a look. So we have this matrix matrix here, okay? We have four 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 four, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to modify that matrix, okay? We're going to for the the diagonal here, okay? We're going to subtract each value by lambda, okay? So now that we've subtracted each value by lambda, we're going to uh, evaluate this matrix. So we're going to multiply these two values and subtract the product of these two values, okay, and we'll see what we get. So let's come down here and do that, okay, so that's going to be equal to 4 minus lambda, okay, times 4 minus lambda, okay, 4 times 4 minus lambda times 4 minus lambda, minus, we have 4 times 4, okay. That's going to give us 4 minus lambda squared minus 16, okay, and if we just bring that down here and continue working. Okay, we're going to go ahead and expand this. Okay, we're going to factor it and we're going to solve for lambda. All right, so that's going to be the first step in finding uh, the eigenvalues. Okay, and let's go ahead and let's just start with that. So let's expand this. So we have 4 times 4, so we have 16. Okay, and uh, minus lambda times 4, 4 lambda minus 4 lambda. Okay, and then we have lambda times lambda negatives. That's going to be plus lambda squared, right? Cool. So, and we can't forget that we have our negative 16 on the end here. So let's keep that there. And that should be equal to, these are going to cancel. And we're going to be left with lambda squared minus 8 lambda. So now we can go ahead and we can factor out, and let's just bring this down here. So we can factor out a lambda here, right? And we have lambda minus 8. Okay. So, well, what does that mean? So what that means is that we have, um, so this is equal to 0, right? So our, therefore, our eigenvalues are uh, lambda equals 0, okay? And lambda equals 8. Cool. So that's what we've done. We've gone ahead and we've solved for the eigenvalues. So the next part of the question is going to ask us, to find out whether the matrix is diagonalizable, okay? And I'm just gonna write the short form there because I don't wanna waste too much time. So this, we'll say that's question B. So is the matrix diagonalizable, okay? So if you have an n by n matrix, okay? So in this case, n by n is, so n is two, we have a two by two matrix, okay? There must exist, okay, um, distinct, two distinct eigenvalues in order for this matrix to be diagonalizable, okay? So in this case, it's an n by n matrix, so we need two distinct eigenvalues, okay? So, and as we can see here, and what I'm gonna write here actually, you could probably include in the answer with your eigenvalues, okay? So we say that um, since, and we'll just say, yeah, we'll say the matrix has eigenvalues of zero and eight, Okay, with algebraic multiplicity of one. And I'll explain what that means in a second. So then we can say that, so the matrix is diagonalizable. Perfect. So yeah, you just, you know, you have to kind of write out a little bit of a, uh, a long answer there, explaining uh, the reason why it's diagonalizable. So algebraic multiplicity means that um, you don't have roots or you don't have eigenvalues that are repeating each other, okay? So for example, if this was a three by three matrix, you may find um, when you factor it that you have, for example, two of the roots are eight and one of them is zero, okay? So then in that case, 
uh, the eigenvalues would still be 0 and 8, but this eigenvalue would have algebraic multiplicity of 2 instead of 1, okay? So, uh, since all of the roots have algebraic multiplicity of 1, so they're all distinct, we can say that it fits the, uh, the rule or the, uh, the requirements to be diagonalizable, and therefore it is. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll get to a 3 by 3 matrix, and that's a little bit trickier, but the ideas are the same. And uh, come back for our next video on eigenvectors. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.